Number 28. Calculate the number of moles in the 2 liter volume of air in the lungs of the average person. Note that the air is at 37 degrees Celsius. Okay. So in order to do this problem, we have to start with the ideal gas law. So it's P, we, we should use the one PV equals NRT. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula uh, that involves atmospheres and liters and all that. Okay. For a description on that, I've got a general video. Take a look in the link, uh, not the link, the description below. I'll have a link down there. Okay. For the ideal gas law. So basically what I want to do is I want to solve for N here. N represents the number of moles. So simply just bring the RT on over to the left-hand side. So we realize that the number of moles, we can solve it if we know the pressure of the gas multiplied by the volume of the gas. And then we divide it by the R constant and then divide it by T, right? The temperature in Kelvin. So here now, all I need to now do is plug in the values, okay? The first thing is, well, what's the pressure? We need to know the pressure. They didn't tell us the pressure here, but... The pressure of the gas, the absolute pressure of the gas in your lungs is equivalent to atmospheric pressure, right? So we actually know what it is. It's, you know, they, they don't have to tell us that. So in this problem, it's going to be 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. And actually, I'm so used to using this that, but I'm not going to actually use the Pascal value. I'm going to use the atmosphere value. That is equivalent to one atmosphere, Okay, uh, the reason why is because they give me a liter value. I'm just going to leave it in liters. I'm going to try to make this calculation easy. So then if I choose atmospheres here for the pressure, then I have to choose liters here for the volume. And then I my R value, I have to be careful. It's going to be 0 0.0821. All right, and then multiply by temperature in Kelvin. So take the 273 and add to that the 37 degrees. All right, and now... All we have to do is calculate this, okay? So this is going to be 2 divided by then 0 0.0821 times then 273 plus 37. And we get a value of 0 0.0786 or so. So 0 0.0786, and that's moles. All right? That would be the amount of moles, all right? So like, you know, what about, what's that, about eight hundredths of a mole? Okay, that would be the moles of gas that would be uh, inside the lungs given those conditions. All right, if you've taken chemistry, this calculation should be familiar. If not, then like I said, that general video should help a little bit by just, you got to memorize then the uh, uh, the values and especially of R if you're going to use atmosphere and liter here. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.